Garen, over the top of the Col du Pre, Pierre Latour was going down the road and you were outnumbered by AG2R. Were you getting nervous then? Uh, it wasn't ideal, but uh, you know, AG2R rode really well today. They really took the race on and put us under pressure. Um, but fortunately, we got such a strong team that if one guy is not so good, another guy steps up. And uh, Teo and Castro were really good today. And um, yeah, fortunately, we're always just in control. You know, I don't think we were ever, we never panicked. Um, but yeah, fair play to AG2R for really taking the race on. And that big acceleration in the finale, were you getting messages on your radio that if you wanted to win the stage, it, it had to be then? Yeah, I kind of, uh, I always felt in control, I always felt pretty good, but I didn't want to uh, get too carried away. Um, it's easy to underestimate like how far to go and to go early and then sort of die off and you might lose time and obviously a big day tomorrow as well, so tried to just uh, do the minimum and then, yeah, at the end, just thought I'll just go for it and uh, see what happens. Um, I managed to get a few more bonus seconds, which is always good. And I guess you expect the same thing tomorrow from AG2R. Will you guys try to go down the road with them, put someone down the road early in the day? No, I think the way we sort of rode today was really good. Um, like I say, always in control and not getting too carried away and um, riding well as a team. And we kind of, that's our strength really, um, the way we ride together and communicate. And, you know, we've done it so many years now in the tour. Um, even with Teo stepping in the team, Castro's a new signing, but it's easy to sort of step in that role, you know, that way that we ride. And um, yeah, it was really good. And fortunately, I had the legs to finish off. Thanks.